Hey guys, Nick with Hemisphere Racing here. Today I'm going to do a quick little overview video on installing the Hemi Cam Phaser Lock Kit from Comp Cams. Now, this is what you're going to get in the kit. You have the compressor tool, the bolt with the plastic insert for the compressor tool, the lock itself, and the pipe plug that's going to go into the lock. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to do, take your phaser and set it up so that the, um, the cam gear sprocket side down. Now you're going to find the hole that has the pin sticking up through it. What you're going to do, take the cam lock piece and insert, insert it onto the phaser so that those two little tangs go over that pin in between the spring. Takes a little bit of wiggling but it'll go on. Next you're going to insert this bolt into the threaded hole underneath on the side and turn that in until it makes contact. Now you take the Allen wrench and turn this one complete turn and that's going to take the tension off the spring. Now we flip it over. Now it is very important you find the keyway here for the cam gear, the bolt that's a hundred, well, directly opposite of that dowel pin or a keyway. You only loosen one turn. Do not take this all the way out because the spring will unwind. So, then you're going to remove these other four bolts. Um, for sake of speed of the video, I've already pre-loosened that off camera. And I do recommend doing this by hand. I loosened all these by hand before I started recording. So that's just to speed it up to keep the video quick. I'm going to take these out and turn them upside down in the order that I take them out. Because this guy right here is different. All the way to the left. So, again, we're going to keep that keyway facing up, laid out the bolts in order. Now you're able to rotate this out of the way. If you got a blown up motor, you're going to want to clean out all these little passageways because there's going to be metal shavings in there, I guarantee it. Now I had this apart already and started to clean it out, but you can see there is still debris in here. And uh, yeah, you don't want that going back into your fresh engine build. There's some coming out of there, uh, but there's it's everywhere. So I'm gonna have to get some brake clean in here and clean all these parts out real good. Um, you can see some metal shavings right there. So I'm gonna probably empty a couple cans of brake clean in here and just make sure I get all this stuff out. Use an air gun, blow through all the passageways, maybe even soak it in some solvent overnight. We'll see how this goes. So about two cans of brake clean later, yeah, you can see that. There's a ton of sparkly metallic debris that came out of there. So, it's worth the brake clean now to make sure that you get this as clean as possible. Um, about a can and a half of brake clean into it, I was sure that what you know was coming out of here was clean solvent with no more metal in it. Um, what you see right there is just marks in the metal. It's not actually uh, metal shavings. Um, but I took blew out here with an air compressor, blew everything out, blew out each of these five holes, any passageways that I could find, all these little nooks and crannies right here where these little blades are, blow all of it out, get everything out of there. Like I said, it's worth the money and brake clean now to make sure this is as clean as you can get it versus risking it and, you know, using a half a can of brake clean on there and going, yeah, it'll be fine, and then you get metal shavings pumped through your brand new engine. So, once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and find your phaser lock. Now, the diagram shows that the lock itself goes in the slot directly to the right of where that phaser lock is. Now, it's two-sided. Make sure it's at the bigger side up. Now, it's calling for thread lock on here, and it's going to be kind of hard for me to get that on there with one hand, so I'm going to pause the camera and get back to you. Okay. So now I've got the blue Loctite on there, I've dropped the pipe plug inside the lock tool, and now the instructions say to just tighten this until the uh, lock tool does not move. I'm going to just turn this a little bit at a time, and you can see I can still slip it in and out. So I'm going to turn it a little bit more, now it's really getting tight, but I can still move it in and out. I'm going to tighten it some more. Man. Still moving. 
there's no torque spec on this, so it just says tighten it till you can't move it anymore. Okay, there we are. It's not moving. All right, so we've got the phaser lock installed and tightened down to the point where it will not move anymore. So now what we're going to have to do is reinstall all the bolts that hold this plate on. So uh, the instructions call for blue Loctite on these. Just remember, never take this one out opposite that keyway. So this one doesn't get any Loctite, the four that you remove do. Now, my recommendation when you start off with this is start by reinstalling this guy that has the length and pin on the side. Uh, that guy goes all the way over here on the left. And the reason for that, the reason I recommend starting with this guy first is because this is still under some spring tension. So when you take these out and have this loose, the, the, the bolt holes are not perfectly aligned. So having that pin in there first will help you get everything aligned so you can get these other three started up nicely. So I'm going to go ahead, put the Loctite on these and get them started. After that, we use the torque wrench to torque them down to 14 foot pounds. Tighten them down in a cross pattern similar to doing a wheel. Two. Definitely need two hands for this. Jeez. Alright, after you get all of those bolts torqued, which was not fun with uh, trying to do that by hand, you really can't put it in a bench vise or anything like that, otherwise you'll damage something. But um, anyway, after you're done with that, go ahead and loosen up this bolt. And then you can remove that tool. And with that, this phaser is ready to go on to this engine now. So, you guys will see, uh, well, a little bit later what's going on with that guy. That big red thing in the background there should give you a hint as to what this is going into. It's going to be a fun bracket car. It's a 6.4 block. We've got a little bit of a surprise in it as far as the uh, rods and pistons go. And uh, there's going to be some more surprises along the way, so it should be a fun time. It's going to be a learning experience for me as I get to learn Holly Dominator electronic fuel injection. I have no, no knowledge of it at all whatsoever. Pretty good knowledge of factory fuel injection, but the Holly I think is going to be a lot more tunable for the track. Anyway, regardless, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.